Hey guys, welcome back. Today we're going to go through all of the remaining monitors that aren't either dead, destroyed or deactivated and are still floating around somewhere in the galaxy to this day. However, before we start, YouTube have been really fucking with their algorithms recently, which is causing videos to be seen a lot less by you guys. So to fix this, literally just click this bell right here and then click send me all notifications for this channel. So once you've done that, if you enjoy, leaving a like would be fantastic, along with a comment telling me your favourite monitor. Let's begin. Monitor 01001, aka Monitor 001. Literally nothing is known about this guy, aside from the fact that he's the caretaker of Installation 01, which is also a ring that we happen to know very, very little about. Monitor 02007, aka Monitor 007. No, not the Ancilla version of Pierce Brosnan, rather another monitor that we happen to know next to nothing about. 007 serves as the caretaker of Installation 02, which is, again, a ring that we happen to know very, very little about. Monitor 03049, known more commonly as 049 Abject Testament. Abject served and may still serve as the caretaker of Installation 03. His name is a reference to his miserable, yet fairly realistic personality, as he once remarked to Guilty Spark that the foreigners deserve to be forgotten, after Spark was unable to access the domain, and thus causing a very large majority of foreigner history to be lost. Sometime after the Halo area was fired, Abject stopped directing Installation 03's functions for no known reason. Tens of thousands of reports filed into the Ring's archives by Installation submonitors go into great detail surrounding the poor quarantine controls, along with lack of action on maintenance and research requests dating back over 20,000 years. In 2557, Monitor 859 Static Carillon was unable to get a response from Abject, which then caused 859 to travel to the ring. It's here where he encountered the Didact, with absolutely no sign of Abject Testament. Therefore, this monitor's current whereabouts and status are totally unknown. Next up, the legend himself, Monitor 04343 Guilty Spark, caretaker of Installation 04 and 04B. Originally an ancient human named Chakas, he became Guilty Spark after his encounters with Mendicant Bias and the Primordial, who were both agents of the Flood, left him physically and mentally mortally injured. Spark first served as a record keeper and aide for the Librarian, which was actually a reward for his service to the Isodidact. Once the Foreigner Flood War became a pretty much losing battle, Spark was assigned his name by the Isodidact and assigned as the caretaker of Installation 04, the fourth ring in the Halo Array. Between the firing of the Array and his encounter with John, Spark's crippling loneliness led to signs of rampancy which caused his mind to fragment, partly to actually stave off the rampancy. Also in this time, an alien vessel of unknown origin crashed on Installation 04. Spark followed protocol, blocking their distress signal, which later actually terminated. Nothing ever exited the vessel, however, and Spark built a containment case around the ship. Now, the origins of this ship are still, over five years later, completely unknown. However, don't worry, I'm going to have a video up in probably a week or two where we're going to be theorising about it. And then, the rest is history. He was our friend, betrayed us, became an ally of the Covenant, allied with us again, betrayed us, killed our precious Sergeant Johnson, and then was mostly, mostly destroyed. However, after his destruction on the Ark, the UNSC Rubicon, an only ship, found his remnants and took it aboard, where Spark, who was now technically Chakas again, took control of the ship, ejected its AI, put the crew into cryosleep, and headed out in search for a life shaper. Now, many people think that this life shaper is the librarian, but she's long dead, and she passed the title of life shaper onto Chant to Green, so maybe he's searching for her. Monitor 052401, more commonly known as 2401 Penitent Tangent, the caretaker of Installation 05. After the array was fired, Tangent was made aware of a pending outbreak in one of his Installation's flood containment facilities, but he ignored the warning and the countless warnings that followed, which ultimately led to the facility being overrun and the creation of the Quarantine Zone, policed by Sentinels and Enforcers. Skipping forward to 2552, Penitent Tangent was captured by the Gravemind, and that is the last that we heard of him. Like quite a few monitors, his current whereabouts are totally unknown. 
monitor 06-16807, commonly known as 16807, is one of the monitors, again, that we know next to nothing about. He is the caretaker of installation 06, and that's pretty much all we know. Monitor 07117649, known just as 117649, is the monitor of installation 07. After the Human Covenant War, the UNSC contracted 300 ONI researchers to study the ring, but 117649 was never actually discovered, nor did he even try to make contact with them. Dr. Luther Mann, who was one of the lead researchers on the ring, theorised that it decided to remain hidden from the humans, considering that humans don't exactly have the best track record when it comes to Halo installations. As far as we know, 117649 is still just monitoring installation 07. Next up, a new fan favourite, 031 Exuberant Witness. She serves as the monitor of the Genesis Insulation, a planet built by Forerunner Builders to build seed worlds, which would eventually house species after the firing of the Halo Array. Now, I'm not going to go into too much detail about Exuberant's past, because all we know about her is her involvement in Halo 5, which I'm sure is still very, very fresh in people's heads, for better or for worse. The bottom line is she regained control of her installation from Cortana at the end of Halo 5, and as far as we know, she's begun cleanup of her planet and continued her duties as the caretaker of her precious, precious Genesis. 859 Static Carillon, the monitor of the Composers and the Composers Forge, which is where the Composers are made. In 2557, he sent numerous messages to Abject Testament, which got no reply, so had to travel to Installation 03, which is where he found his composer to be missing. It was here where he encountered the Didact. He made an agreement with him that he'd bring the composer's forge to Installation 03, but only on the basis that he manufacture no more Promethean Knights. Sometime later, Blue Team arrived, and the Didact ended up breaking the agreement, with intentions to retake Requiem. It was with that that Carillon chose to help Blue Team, and they travelled to Installation 03 before the Didact. When they were there, the Didact was just about to kill Blue Team, and Static Carillon managed to disable him and teleport him to the Ring's control room. Blue Team managed to find the Ring's activation index, and after much debate surrounding firing the Ring, Carillon convinced Chief to use the index to scuttle the control room. Chief was teleported there and used the index to deactivate the room's safeties, which then allowed Carillon to eject it and teleport Chief out which significantly damaged the ring, and digitising the didact when the room impacted the composers, which caused them to fire at him. Static Carillon then took Insulation 03 to an unknown part of the galaxy for repairs, and that's the last we heard of him. Enduring Bias, the monitor of the Refuge, which is also known as Shield World 0673. He was taken to the Shield World shortly before the Array fired, and after it did, he remained confused as to why no Forerunner came back to retrieve him, and as a result, the long bouts of loneliness caused many of his processes to fail. Now, I'm not going to go into too much detail surrounding Enduring, because his backstory is essentially an entire book's worth of story, so if you do want to learn more about him, then I highly suggest reading Halo Broken Circle. The final monitor of whom has a pretty murky current status is the Warden, not to be confused with the Warden Eternal. The Warden is an AI that is incredibly ancient, over 25,000 years old by 100,000 BCE. It served at Maithrillion, detaining criminals before they were judged by the Council along with defending them in court. The most well known of his defences was Faber the Master Builder, who was on trial for crimes against the Mantle. During his trial, Maithrillion was attacked by Mendicant Bias, and under its own free will, the Warden helped Faber escape, supposedly because it knew his value. Now, there are claims out there that the Warden was in fact bribed to do this, but Faber denied this, claiming how ridiculous the notion of bribing a machine is. The Warden's current status is totally unknown. And that's it. All the monitors that we know still exist, in some form at least, along with those whose statuses are currently unknown. I hope you enjoyed. Next time, I want to explore the idea of Halo 6 returning to a more isolated story, very similar to a lot of Combat Evolved, where most missions were essentially just you playing as Chief alone with very little communication aside of Cortana. It should be a pretty interesting idea to explore. I've got some pretty interesting thoughts on it, so I hope to see you there. Thanks a lot for watching, and I'll see you then.